week, but we've just got to improve on the previous week. Uh, we're not going to do anything different. We haven't prepared for them any different, uh, with the exception of the things that they do different than anybody else that we play. Uh, they do have a well-balanced offensive attack. They do run the ball well, and they also throw the ball. This can present problems to a defense, uh, particularly when you're young as ours. A lot of people don't realize we had two returning defensive ball players, and we now have one returning ball player. Uh, Brent Barrett was hurt down at the uh, moment's target uh, about three weeks ago. So it is going to be quite a challenge for our team, and it's going to be, I feel like it could be a good football game if we play the way we're typically play. Okay, thank you very much, Ken Joyner, for those comments, and I think we have some comments, too, from uh, Ray Durham, right? Both teams play well, and I don't really see any reason why they shouldn't. We know that Southern Wayne has a great offensive capability, so we don't have any illusions about stopping McKinney and Robinson. We hope to slow them down a little bit. We hope to somewhat contain them. Really, I feel like the key matchup tonight is our offense against their defense. If both teams get the ball possession eight times in the game and Southern Wayne scores six, and we still got a chance if we can score seven. So, you know, to me, that's a key matchup. I don't think either team can afford to make a whole lot of mistakes. Uh, I think it ought to be a real good game and a real close game. Oh, thank you very much, Ray. Appreciate those comments. Hardy, you had a chance to kind of sum up uh, what's going on uh, on both sides. What's the uh, anxiety level on these two teams? Well, I tell you, the anxiety level is awful high on both teams. And in talking with Coach Joyner, uh, he said very much the same as, as uh, Ray Durham. And, you know, there, there's no, uh, there's no big if he's out there, uh, you know, they know what they got to do to win this ball game, and Coach Durham feels the same way. Uh, both teams are, uh, have a tremendous amount of respect for each other, and, and they're kind of quiet, you know, uh, in the dressing rooms. and not a whole lot said, but uh, once I saw them uh, get out on the field, they were, of course, getting pumped up again. But, uh, you know, I look for a big offensive show with uh, both teams, and both teams have got uh, a little... Uh, Maybe a little little lack is, is in their defensive unit, so it'll be very interesting to, to uh, see how the defense comes around. More with free game activities right after we take this time out for these commercial works. The excitement is building. There's a good crowd here from Jacksonville, uh, and uh, the two teams are coming out on the field to meet each other in the center of the field. You can see Jacksonville. You can see uh, uh, both teams coming out on the field. There was a nice article in the uh, News and Observer this morning. It talked about Southern Wayne's Reginald McKinney. Uh, he's earned his place in the spotlight this week. And, of course, they say he won't have long to savor it, meeting powerful Jacksonville tonight. Uh, he's run for 318 yards against each and Wayne. Did that last week. Uh, he picked up the honor. Uh, his coach, Ken Joyner, has been hoping he went all year. Down in Dudley, the WREL-TV cameras awarded McKinney the Extra Effort Award. That's a that's pretty honor when you think that WREL covers everything from Greensboro East. It sure is, and you know, I was talking with uh, Coach Joyner before the ball game. The thing that impressed me quite a bit was the fact that when they interviewed uh, McKinney on uh, Channel 5, that he gave credit to his fullback, Robson, uh, Robinson, and... Uh, quarterback and of course the offensive line and that just shows you the caliber ball player that McKinney is. Well the Saints have won the toss. By the way the Cardinals enter this game with a 4-1 overall record. Uh, the Saints are 3-1-1 one, and, one, and uh, both are of course undefeated in the Mid-Eastern 4A Conference and the uh, Cardinals of course uh, struggled against Jacksonville White Oak and Wilmington Packard and uh, had a tough loss against the Greenville Rose team to open the season on a Thursday night because of a Greenville uh, East Carolina game. Jerry, I was making comments to a couple of folks down the stairs, and the, the thing that's exciting about a ball game like this is either team could be two or three touchdowns behind and catch up real quick. And also, with a minute or so to go in the ball game, they're still in the ball game. So it should be a real interesting ball game as the Jacksonville Cardinals fired up just uh, just came in. In fact, we may they're be able to pick on the field right now. Jacksonville has a rather large squad. Hardy, I'd say they're about 50, 55 players involved. Well, not only are they large in numbers, but they're large in size. They remind me a little bit of the uh, Wilmington New Hanover team that we saw against uh, Goldsboro. And Southern Wayne is going to have to put some quickness against these big fellows, just like uh, Goldsboro did. 
Tell you what, we've got time for one more commercial break, and we'll be back with the opening kickoff right after these commercial words. The excitement in the air, of course, the Saints are the winningest team in Wayne County this year, uh, followed by Rosewood. The other teams are having kind of an off year. Goldsboro, Eastern Wayne, Charles B. A. Cock, and Wayne Country Day really aren't doing much this year. But uh, I think the pride of the county has to be uh, in Mount Olive at the Southern Wayne Saint home field. We can't hardly wait to see Reginald uh, do his number. Okay, and uh, Reginald is, uh, of course, deep in the, uh, in the, almost in the end zone, waiting for the return, and that's number 20, Reginald McKinney. You've already got it lined up. Good, I can read your writing there. I am pleased with that. <laughs> I'll save those comments. Um, number 45, Oates along with uh, number 44, Carnegie, are also back with uh, Redbone, as he's called over here. Well, this ball game is underway. There's the kick, and it's a driving kick. It's going to be picked up by number 45, looking for running room. He's not going to find any, and he's brought down on the 20-yard line. A good hit by number 45, Michael Oates, 5'9", 175-pound linebacker. He's a junior. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Southern Wayne Saints. The ball will rest on the 19-yard line. Didn't get quite up to the 20-yard line. Opening play coming up of the first quarter. How do you anticipate a real exciting game? I do too. Rondell Forbes, your quarterback. In the backfield, we've got Roby Robinson, number 22. Robbie. Robbie and uh, Redbone Reginald McCain, number 20, deep in the backfield. There's man in motion, number 32. Ball goes straight to the... Uh, Pullback, he comes up over the 20 to the 22 yard line. Pick up of about three on the play, Hart. Huh? Well, you could almost expect that play with the fullback because everybody was keying and, and they just knew that uh, McKinney was going to be the, the ball carrier. Big fullback picking up uh, two or three yards. You know, he's an excellent ball player, by the way. He uh, uh, Not only is he a good blocker for McKinney, but he's a good runner. All right, and of course McKinney gave him credit for that. Robbie Robinson in motion, number 32. And uh, up the middle, close to a first down, up to about the 24-yard line. Need to get beyond the 24-yard line is uh, Robbie Robinson. That's twice he's run the ball. And uh, it's going to be short by about a half a yard. So it'll be third down and a yard. Well, again, they just send a man in motion trying to keep the linebacker off. And uh, it worked because uh, Robinson was able to uh, uh, pick up, uh, what, another six or seven yards. Michael Best comes in. He's at wide split in to the right side for the Southern Wing Saints. Reginald McKinney has the ball, and uh, you can almost call it a lateral or a fumble. Not sure exactly what happened on that play, Hardy, but he, Reginald McKinney lost it. He pitched it forward, and uh, it landed in the hands of uh, the uh, fullback, and they managed to pick up about 25 yards on the play. Well, in case you heard a slight change in Jerry's voice, we had a little creature just visit us, and uh, <laughs> I don't like those <laughs> creatures. Yes, it's not quite as bad as the Rosewood night, though. No, well, these th these things here will sting you. They got a wasp nest right behind us. They will absolutely hurt your face. <laughs> Hey, Barnes again in motion. The pitch is to Redbone. Redbone looking for running room. He finds running room. He's cutting to the outside. Stays on his feet. Out of bounds on the 35-yard line. The first run of the evening by uh, uh, McKinney. And an outstanding job. A pickup of about 25 yards on the play. Well, I tell you, <laughs> that was the first time that I've seen uh, Reginald get loose this year. And uh, a good time out there. In fact, I'd love to see the play again. Watch him take the ball deep in his backfield, cutting to the inside. He keeps on moving, and he's going to be brought down on the 35-yard line. An excellent run, first and 10, for the Southern Wayne Saints from the 35-yard line of the Jacksonville Cardinals in motion, number 32. Ball goes straight up the middle to the fullback. He breaks loose, stays on his feet, and he is going to score! Robinson and 
Robbie Robinson broke through the line, and that's all she wrote, boy. She, he was gone. I tell you what, she talked about backs complimenting each other, but, uh, man, what a tandem. So with nine minutes and 38 seconds to go in the first quarter, we have our first score. It's 6 nothing. the Saints over the Jacksonville Cardinals. And you can tell that these teams are definitely fired up. They'll be going for one. Snap, spot, kick, it looks good, is good. We have a 7 to nothing ball game with the Saints over the Jacksonville Cardinals. We'll be back with more right after these commercial words. Kickoff, a driving kickoff. It's taken on the 25-yard line. And boy, is he knocked and popped on the 35-yard line. Party, the Southern Wayne Saints are absolutely fired up in this ball game. I mean, they are. Uh, James McCoy, number 25, uh, had his bell rung. Uh, as they say, a host of Southern Wayne Saints. So well, let's see what Jacksonville does. Their first offensive series of the ball game, nine minutes, 32 seconds to play in the opening quarter. In the backfield, Dino Venters is your quarterback. Marvin Hampton, number seven, a running back, along with Kirk Newkirk for the Jacksonville Cardinals. A man in motion, Newkirk with the ball, number seven. And he pops down over the 35, up to the 37-yard line. That was Marvin Hamilton, number seven. Nine minutes, nine seconds to go. Opening quarter of this ball game, a 7-0 Southern Wayne Saint lead over the Jacksonville Cardinals. They are fired up. It'll be interesting to see if Southern Wayne puts on a good defensive show because, as we saw earlier, uh, Jacksonville just was not able to hold Southern Wayne. And as we told you earlier, this is going to be a real offensive show. Okay, first and ten for the Cardinals. Over there, second down and five. Sorry about that. No nope gain on the play. He stopped at the line of scrimmage. Kirk Newkirk, number 35, trying to break the Southern Wayne line. Did him absolutely no good. He got up squarely. Uh, well, he got up past the 40-yard line to the 41-yard line. Third down. Make it a long, make it a short five. They set Marvin Hampton, number seven, in motion, trying to pull the linebacker out of the center and then gave the ball straight up to uh, Kirk Newkirk, number 35, and uh, Southern Wayne just would not be budged. Okay, third down and a short five. Eight minutes, 11 seconds to go. Opening quarter from Southern Wayne St. Field. Back to pass. Got a man open. It's going to be complete on the 50-yard line. That's good enough for a first down. He gets over the 50-yard line to just about the 49. Tim Ganey, number three, making the reception first and 10 for the Jacksonville Cardinals. And Ray Durham could be right. It could be a high-scoring affair tonight at Southern Wayne St. Field. Well, they went away from their uh, their eye back formation. They split the backs, and uh, Venters that time just popped that uh, little short pass. Okay, there's one that goes nowhere to number seven, Marvin Hampton. He stopped in his backfield, a loss of about a yard on the play, second down and 11 for the Jacksonville Cardinals. It certainly would be sweet if uh, <laughs> Southern Wing could just stop them cold. I thought you were going to say certainly would be sweet if our uh, if somebody popped that wasp. <laughs> if somebody popped that wasp, it just flew by your ear. That's a I got I really got a phobia against those things. I know you do, but I tell you, I, I have to be uh, I have to be honest with you, Jerry. You don't like them? Either? They raised that young and big over here. Oh, <laughs> me, <laughs> too big for me. Okay, second down. We'll call it an even ten. It's actually uh, about ten and a half. Jacksonville Cardinals go back to pass. He's got a man deep, number three. If he catches it, it's going to be a touchdown. He catches it, and he falls down on the one-yard line. Little trouble with a few too many people up here. You missed the catch, friends. I'm sorry about that, but we're in kind of cramped quarters, and there are about eight people up here. And when the camera swung around, you saw part of a red jacket instead of a catch. I'd like to apologize for that. Okay, they uh, just threw that ball straight up in the air. And uh, number three, Tim Ganey, made an excellent catch. And as we told you earlier, these teams can strike from anywhere on the field. Well, you're right about that. We've got more than six and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. It's seven to six, and uh, Jacksonville is going to go for two. A quick pitch to number seven, and he drives, scores. It's now eight, or rather, I'm sorry, it is now six to seven. Hardy, I was thinking he was in because I was blocked. I was looking at the monitor. It's seven to six, and the Cardinals now will go four the extra point. Okay, he went in for the score, which made it 7-6, uh, and uh, 
they're going to go for uh, they're going to go for one as the kicker comes out on the field. That's number 64, Robert or Roger Halbert. We may see a lot of scoring before the night is gone, Hart. Snap, spot, kick. flag. A whole bunch of flags on there. The kick was blocked, and if it's an illegal procedure against Jacksonville, they won't get the kick over again, but it's a penalty against the Southern Wayne Saints. They'll move it half the distance to the goal. <laughs> Offside. I tell you, you're not going to believe what was right over my head. I see it. I've got to kill that thing. Well, let me back out of the way, Hardy. Let me go ahead kill it. Did you get it? Yeah. You kill him good, Hardy. Good. Now let's call Ben. <laughs> well, look on the look on the program and uh, starting at wide receiver. <laughs> look, you get rid of that watch. Take him off that program. Call Ben and tell him to come pick him up. <laughs> okay, we've got another flag on the play, and I think the uh, Southern Wayne Saints are again offside, and that's what they call. So again, if you're going to take the penalty. Uh, it could be moved right on top of the goal and a little quarterback sneak could make it an 8-7 to seven ball game. They're still just going to go for the one, Hardy. I think it's too early in the ball game. Six minutes, 34 seconds to go in the opening quarter. You know, you commented on the haze over the field, and that, there's just something about that that just gives you the, the, the electrifying the excitement of the ball game. Now, spot kick. It's going to be good. It is, we have a 7-7 seven seven ball game, the Jacksonville Cardinals and the Southern Wayne Saints, and we'll be back with more from the Southern Wayne Saint field right after these commercial words. There you see our man back deep to receive, and the Jacksonville Cardinals will be kicking off. We'll see how this goes. They approach the ball, and they dribble it onto the ground. Picked up by one of the up backs, Walter Barnes, number 32, and uh, the play is blown dead on the 36-yard line. Well, they're going to so, definitely keep it away from uh, McKinney on the kickoff. There's no question about that. Of course, the ball is across the 35, about the 36. That's excellent field position. First and ten for the Southern Wayne Saints. The ball goes to Reginald. He's in trouble. I don't know how he managed to stay on his feet. He will not pick up any yardage. He will lose about a yard and a half. Second down and 12 for the Southern Wayne Saints. It was almost as if the entire right defensive line keyed on uh, McKinney that time because uh, as soon as he got his hands on the ball, they were right down the line. And the defensive end, you got to give him credit because he strung it all the way out. Second down, 12 yards to go. Okay, we'll have we'll have offsides against uh, Southern Wayne. I do. I mean, where they're off against Jacksonville, I do believe. No, they called illegal procedure against Southern Wayne. Uh, one of the up linemen must have jumped. Hard do you see any more of those wasps? Not really. I don't like those little critters. <laughs> We're down to five minutes and 35 seconds to go in the opening quarter. It's already seven to seven. The Saints now have a second down and 17. The ball is resting on the 24 yard line. We may see something go in the air. No, it's direct to the fullback. And the fullback, Robbie Robinson, number 22, picks up the lost five. It's gonna be third down and 12. Southern Wayne usually does a good job of alternating these plays as a lot of times they do key on McKinney. And you can't uh, you can't give Robson too much room because he uh, he is a powerful runner. Not only is he strong, but he's got some speed. Third down, 12 yards to go. And the ball goes to McKinney. McKinney has the speed and picks up a first down, picks up 14 yards. Gets up almost to the 50-yard line, up to the 49. It's going to be first and 10 for the Southern Wayne Saints. They're on the move. He is quick. Right well, I mean, he is an exciting back to watch. A little later on in the ballgame, we'll try to isolate a camera on him and uh, watch his moves. All righty. 
I tell you what, there's some folks in the stands. There are a lot of college scouts tonight watching uh, both teams. Four minutes, 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. And we have ourselves a 7-7 seven seven ball game. A fake to Reggie. A quick pass over the middle. And it's going to be caught by number 32. And he gets all the way down to the 24-yard line. That's Walter Barnes, number 32, with a high leaping catch. And he brought that ball down on, like we say, the 23-yard line. This is one of the things that Coach Joyner said he was going to have to do. He had an uh, excellent running game, but he's going to have to pass more. And he's going to have to put the pass in. Uh, on a first down and not uh, just on a third down situation. So, Well, I'd like to see that pass again, Hardy. He went something like that. You saw him caught it right at the end. He stayed on his feet all the way down. An excellent job. And now the Saints are threatening again. This may be a high-scoring game. We've got an offside against the Jacksonville Cardinals. It'll cost them five yards. Uh oh They say he was drawn offside. An illegal procedure against Seven Wayne. Well, that's twice tonight. We've seen the encroachment. They said he, he was drawn off. Well, I don't think the uh, coaching staff nor the fans on this side agree with that call. I heard a few boos coming up. You know not. I did. I don't lie to you, Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> 3.51 in the first quarter and counting. 7-7 seven, seven our score. First down, 15 for the Southern Wing Saints. The ball goes to McKinney. McKinney has got himself a big hole, and he's going to score. He makes it look so easy just to pop through that line and score. I'm just, uh, I'm, well, how can I say that I'm just impressed, Artie? Well, <laughs> why don't you just say you're impressed? Are, are we going to see it again? Well, I don't know. I don't know whether we caught that on instant replay or not. Well, no, you did. Well, I don't know. I don't think we did. Let's see if we caught it on there. Nope, we didn't catch that play, Hardy. Sorry about that. Let's go for the extra point. It's 13 to 7. Snap, spot, kick, block. Locked. No good. No flags on the play. 13 7 our score. We'll be back with Southern Wayne and Jacksonville in just a moment. Hardy, that play got underway before our commercial break ended. And uh, the kickoff goes up to about the uh, 41 yard line. And uh, both teams seem to be afraid to kick it deep. Well, that's because both teams have excellent running backs and they don't want to get their hands on it. Well, I think they, they make things happen when the ball gets in their hands. I think you're right. I can definitely understand now why there are a lot of college scouts looking at McKinney tonight. Okay, first and ten now for the Saints. And we're there for Jacksonville, breaking through and staying on his feet up into Southern Wayne territory, down at the 45, a pickup of 16 yards. Marvin Hampton, number seven, with a nice 15-yard run for the Jacksonville Cardinals. Ray Durham is right. It's going to be an offensive show tonight. Well, I didn't finish. There are a lot of college uh, scouts, coaches here tonight looking at McKinney. Also, Robson, also about three of the running backs for Jacksonville. So there's a wealth of talent here tonight on offense. First and ten for Jacksonville. They trail 13-7. Stop at the line, continues to run, picks up a yard maybe. Second down and nine coming up for the Jacksonville Cardinals. Had a real fine hit that time by uh, Tracy Smith, number 50, the uh, nose guard. Injured player on the field. Can't catch his number, it's 60. 64. You got a name to go with a 64? Yeah, that's Jimmy Allen. 5'9", 200-pound nose guard. He's a sophomore. We've got an injury on the field. We'll be back to Southern Wing Field in just a moment. 13-7 our score. The Saints over the Jacksonville Cardinals. The Jacksonville Cardinals are driving. They've got a second down and nine at the 44-yard line of the Saints. Two minutes, 29 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Back to pass. Fires it. It's going to be caught complete. And uh, I think it's going to be a little bit short of the first down. Tim Ganey, number three, made the reception. It'll be third down and about two. Let's call it a long two yards to go. Tim Ganey is 5'7", 154 pounds, and a lot of speed. I got a lot of speed, Art. <laughs> you see that wasp a while ago? I mean, you did. Third down, a long two yards to go. And uh, number seven was in motion, 
but they didn't call it. He gets over uh, the 35-yard line. Enough for the first down. The Cardinals will have first and 10 at the Southern Wayne Sink 34-yard line. Down to a minute and 44 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Lots of scoring, lots of excitement. And you know, so far this year, Hardy, in the six or seven games that we've done, there really has not been uh, much of an offensive show. Uh, Goldsboro is great defensively. Uh, Eastern Wayne is having trouble with their offense also. Most games we've seen have been low-scoring games. They really have. This game, I think, may be a little different. It's 13 to seven, and we're just in the opening quarter. Okay, a quick popper up the middle that goes absolutely nowhere. Kirk Newkirk is stopped by the middle of the Southern Wayne St. line. Newkirk was uh, met head on again by uh, Smith, number 50, who's having an excellent defensive first half. Interesting to, to hear the Jacksonville coach up here that's giving the signals to Ray Durham, telling them when the offensive line is uh, pinching in and uh, doing all different things. And 55 seconds and counting in the opening quarter, 13-7. Sure, Coach Jorner would like to have somebody up here listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it's really, it really doesn't do that much good, I don't think, Because right? you can't relay it onto the field that quick. A quick pitch goes to uh, number seven, looking for running room. There is none. Marvin Hampton picks up about two yards as he tries to sweep around the left side. That defense strung it out again and uh, was helpful or, or enabled the linebackers to come up and make the stop. 24 seconds and counting. They may or may not get one more playoff before the end of the first quarter. A good crowd. The stands across the way for the Jacksonville Cardinals were filled and leaning over and looking down. Not only are the Southern Wayne Saints side full, but so is the, the uh, railing, the <laughs> fence railing. Uh, it's filled about two or three deep with Southern Wayne Saints supporters. No time left. The first quarter is history. 13 to 7 hour score. We'll be back with second quarter action right after these commercial words. The opening uh, play of the second quarter coming up, the Jacksonville Cardinals have a third down and 10, and let's get back to the field. Just want to show that profile, Lenny. What are you talking I just about? Just want to let them know we were here. That's right, back to pass. <laughs> Going back deep, he stays open, and pow, it's complete, and enough for a first down inside the 20-yard line, or the 25-yard line of the Southern Wayne Saints. So both teams are moving almost at will up and down the field. 13-7 our score, opening play of the second quarter. Benner's that time doing an excellent job of staying on his feet and actually getting away from two or three of the defenders from Southern Wayne. Getting that pass off, you thought uh, for sure he was going to be thrown for a loss. Is that pronounced Diano or Dino? Uh, Dino. Okay. Dino Venters. If you say so, okay, first and 10 for the Cardinals. They're inside the 25-yard line. Ball goes to number seven, Marvin Hampton. Hampton picks up a couple of yards. Going to be second down and eight. And he is upended by uh, big Chris Williams, number 71. Chris is 5'11", 220, and a junior. Eleven fourteen and counting, counting and, and counting. The Jacksonville Cardinals threatening. <laughs> Second down, eight yards to go for the Cardinals. Venters gives it off straight up the middle again. Marvin Hampton. Hampton gets over the twenty, down to about the nineteen yard line. A pickup of four yards, and it'll be third down. Let's call it a short five. All right. Tracy Smith, number fifty, made the initial hit and held him up long enough for. Uh, the linebacker, Herbie Downs, number 56, to come in and clean house. If you say so. That used to be so much fun as a linebacker. Let one of the up men to hit him first around the ankles and let him be struggling and just come in and nail him. That's not, that's not fair. That's man. fun, though. Ten and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter. We've got a third down and a short five for the cards, and we have an offside against the Southern Wayne Saints, so that'll be an automatic first down for Jacksonville, a break for the... Jacksonville Cardinals. Sure was because the, uh, the defensive end, number 84, Malcolm Lassiter, lost his balance and just could not hang on. So the Saints need to hold here. Neither team seems to have done an outstanding job of holding the offense of the other team. 10 minutes, 21 seconds to go in the second quarter. 13 to 7. Southern Wayne 
over the Jacksonville Cardinals. Dino Venters gives the ball again to number seven, and he manages to pick up a couple of yards he really didn't, he really deserved very much. Marvin Hampton, number seven, uh, was tackled and spun away from that and managed to pick up four yards. Second down, six. They're inside the 10-yard line, Hardy, down to the nine. Got that on his own, didn't he? He really did. Hampton goes out, and number nine, Glenn McFadden, comes in replacement. They'll, they'll alternate those running backs quite a bit. They have actually three tailbacks that they use quite a bit. Nine minutes, 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. Dino hands it off to number 35. He's got himself a first down, I do believe, inside the five-yard line. Kirk Newkirk, number 35 on the run. They call it a first down. First and goal, and we are seeing an offensive show tonight, aren't we? There's no question about that, is it? There's a timeout called by the Southern Wayne Saints. Timeout on the field. We'll be back with more action from the Southern Wayne Saint field right after these commercial words. The Jacksonville Cardinals have a first and goal. They're inside the five-yard line. Hardy, I think they'll just drive it straight up the middle. It goes to number seven, Marvin Hampton, and he goes across for the score. We have a 13 to 13 tie. They'll be going for the tiebreaker. Hey, this game's moving right along. I mean. 